today I wanted to talk about marriage equality. Most people equate marriage equality to gay marriage because, well, it's been in the news a lot. It's actually made really good progress in our court system and this month a huge decision is due out of the Supreme Court. But the thing is, marriage equality, of course, is not just for gay couples. Um, most people don't know or really probably don't think about this, but at some point in American history, interracial couples could not get married. It was illegal to marry somebody of the different race. And it wasn't until 1967 Supreme Court has finally struck the ban on interracial marriages. The reason this issue is dear to me is because I myself am in an interracial relationship. And even though me and my girlfriend decided not to exercise the right to get married, we appreciate and, and uh, uh, happy to have it. And of course, we want all other interracial couples to have the same right uh, to be married. So 1967 decision came in on June 12th which now is known as Loving Day, which is amazingly ironic because the last name of the couple, uh, a white man and a black woman, uh, who take this issue all the way to the Supreme Court, the, their last name was Loving. So, thus the Loving Day. So this year, to celebrate this date, me and my girlfriend decided to do something special. Uh, we decided to collaborate with an amazing local photographer, Olga Basti, to create a set of pictures uh, to celebrate uh, our relationship and to inspire other interracial couples to celebrate theirs. So we came up with a few uh, uh, different concepts including uh, vanilla and chocolate ice cream and a few other things that we shot uh, on location in Alviso, California. If you want to see the entire set of our pictures, please uh, find us on Instagram or Facebook and you'll be able to enjoy them. Please do share, please do repost, so many other interracial couples can celebrate their diversity as well. Happy Loving Day!